Well, nobody asked for it, but you're all gonna get it. I'm Victoria Rain, and this is my bathtub gin review. Today's gin is Gabrielle Brodeur Saffron Gin. This gin is made in Dijon, France, is 40% alcohol, and is a price of approximately $1.59 per ounce Canadian. I've rated, as I told you previously, I'm going to rate all of my gins on appearance, taste, and mixability, as well as using the Taste Pentagon. I rate this gin a two and a half on appearance because the bottle is fairly plain and the labeling is very simple. However, the bright orange saffron color of the gin definitely elevates the appearance. The screw top makes it slightly less appealing for me, but that's just my preference. Now let's taste this gin. Ooh, that was a steep pour, but hey, it's summer. Might as well enjoy it. As you can see, this gin is very bright orange in the glass. It's got a beautiful and light crisp juniper scent with a nice head of saffron and a really little tiny bit of citrus. This gin has got beautiful aromatic flavors. It's quite warm on the palate and it's got a great amount of saffron and heat and the earthiness to it. I've rated this gin on the flavor pentagon with a one in juniper, two in spice, three in floral, two on citrus, and one in heat. I'm gonna talk about the citrus in a second. As I said, gin has to have juniper in it in order to be classed as gin, but I only give this a one because it's just a tiny little hint. It has a fair bit of earthiness because of the saffron. As well, the saffron brings it up to a three in floral and the citrus, sipping it plain like this, I'd give it a one. However, when you mix this gin, it pops that citrus up to a solid two. So if you like a citrusy floral gin, I highly recommend this. And in terms of heat, I've only given it a one because it's really clean and crisp and is just a really nice floral flavor in your mouth. I've given this gin a fairly high score on mixability because once you mix it, it opens the citrus and the saffron, as I said before, and tones down the earthiness and the heat. This is a really great smooth gin to drink on its own or to mix. And in the summer, this with a great splash of soda and some ice would be amazing. I'm Victoria Rain, and this is my bathtub gin review.